Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and today we're going to uh, do a new series a series in which I want to watch replays of my games so you and I both can learn to play Tulia better and I believe this will be the most helpful method to actually to actually improve uh, because I had a small period of time in which I tilted and right now I feel like to demo tree and I decided to pick Tulia up again for good because I kind of gave up on her and let me pause for a second before I continue talking before I continue showing you uh, the thing is Tulia right now for mid lane isn't that great as you can as you know probably so I try to play her jungle and learn her better there because still the same champion I guess and I usually queue now as jungle slash mid lane I can play mid lane champions probably decent but I believe uh, I know mechanically this champion better than most but obviously in jungle I will have some macro issues and some even micro issues but still still uh, I will also do in this series in this spectate myself coach self coaching or let's learn to yeah with true math series I will still do some mid lane games and also some jungle games I, I hope I stick to the weekly schedule because I usually have a lot on my uh, I'm busy okay <laughs> so yeah let's uh, let's start this game slowly uh, let's watch the the heroes the champions that are currently in this game uh, we have misfortune with dark harvest uh, and brand bot lane which should be strong and should win we have a Yasuo mid with a bad KDA if you look on op.gg we expect him to lose and we have um, I don't know the KDAs but uh, I think on top lane it was kind of even or so so basically my only problem and you'll see in this video my only problem will be Zed and dying to Zed obviously the problem should be Jarvan too sometimes but if you're careful early on you shouldn't or and obviously in the mid game you shouldn't uh, have problems if you use W and position properly now the only mistakes I've done besides the obvious diamond 3 or 4 jungling macro rods that I don't know uh, and I usually do badly and such uh, the typical jungle mistakes the only mistakes I do uh, are getting caught by Z later on or doing I don't know a bad W and you get the point now let's go to the game uh, I will scroll through the game a bit faster uh, obviously you don't need to see every second of it uh, I still want to talk about something before I start uh, the runes are the electrocute pro builds build path that you see and the build uh, for items it's the simple uh, just jungle item and then either Luden Zonia uh, no, not Ludon, sorry, Zonia, Ralelice or uh, Morello. Usually these are the first items. And okay, I usually start at red when I'm jungling. Then I move towards the crab. I've seen some Tulia do full clears, but I usually go towards the crab. Now, this might be a mistake, but I like to put that word there. And I usually see the Jarvan coming. Now, you might say that a good Jarvan would have acted differently and would have been full HP. Because in this scenario, Jarvan didn't even use one uh, refillable potion, which he should have till this point, so he would be full HP. I, I don't know why he came exactly here, I don't know what he thinks, but he did miss position at this point, obviously. Uh, he didn't even see me until he put this word here. And let's see what happens. He tries to jump on me, I go W at level 2, he didn't flash in time. And then he flashes here, Gragas also takes that, I follow him and then he jumps over here, I shouldn't do this, and we get a first blood here, and Camille also does not flash over this wall, I don't know why, but Gragas also has flash to follow if it's needed. Uh, I did not understood why, uh, why Camille acted this way, and again this is Diamond 3, Diamond 2, Diamond 4 depending on the elos. And um, you expect more from these players, even though it's a Rob Nordic and it's bigger 
or I don't know if it's bigger than North America, but uh, you get the point. It's somewhere there. Obviously not that competitive, but uh, here I, I wanted to go for the crab ASAP because I wanted to have more minions to clear in my own jungle, and I kind of thought that he would go for this. I should have, probably should have gone for the ready if my stats allowed. I don't recall that being a good option. And then I go straight for the blue. This was a very weird path. I don't know why I did this. This might be a mistake. I'm not an expert jungler again. But, but after this, I just went for the full clear in the top side. And a funny thing that happened is that Camille said Jarva ruined uh, her lane, but Ragas followed faster than her, even though he was lower in HP than her. And I did not understand that chat at all, but still. Uh, Misfortune gets a kill right here on Vayne, bot lane is doing fine. I'm showcasing this game by the way mostly because an ultimate that will come later on. I should speed it up a little, let me just click on myself. And you don't need to see the items because you probably need to see them only when I recall. Again, full clear, Yasuo as you can see by farm is already destroyed. Uh, as I said, I did not expect him to play. You'll see I do some mistakes against Z uh, in terms of I miss position and that just, yeah, you know, I randomly die. Okay, moving faster again, um, taking some more camps, which is probably pretty boring for you, but uh, here I try to do a small gank. It's probably not going to end well for me, but. Yeah, Jarvan comes here as well, uh, random W combo, E, W, E, Q combo, and then I keep this tab open just to see what I bought. I bought refillable boots, I had refillable, so I bought boots, I upgraded this. Uh, most of the time you want a vision word at first recall, but yeah. Uh, wait, where am I? Okay. I also had a game today, I'm gonna pause here, in which I had like 20 kills before this. I chose not to showcase that one and showcase this one because I believe I can learn more if I watch this replay and I, be I believe I did more mistakes in this, even though I did a pretty nice ult later on um, and got full honor probably for that, I don't know for what else. Uh, I believe this one will help more than the other, even though I might showcase it. I usually tend to ping a lot. Uh, another stop here, in the minute one or so I tell my jungler to ward somewhere in this zone because there are a lot of Camille, Jervan and Yudir players or such that that want to gank at level 2, okay? I tell them to stick to a side if it's possible and ward it. Uh, I think here I do a mistake, I'm not so sure. Uh, possibly. Yeah, uh, I missed W, but I dodged nicely the Q. I would have probably died if he hit me with the Q. Now, the thing I didn't like was that uh, from this point, as you can see, Yasuo is destroyed. And all I had to do here was try to get him a kill, but uh, he kind of has a weird style he will flash later on on top lane and or he did I don't remember I'm trying to kill Camille let's move a little faster because again it's just jungle clearing there is a vision word I think I've gone over and didn't see uh, okay just farming 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 let's go faster let's move uh, let me show you the items that I bought Kragas is winning top lane hard now because of that trade, I I gone I went for the uh, vision ward and more items towards finishing my jungle logans as I like to call it. And here I got another decent crab objective as I like to see. Okay, let's move. And here soon I might do my first mistake. I uh, know I will die soon. I don't remember exactly where. Uh, okay, some more walking, walking. Okay, put a vision word there. 
uh, bot lane got caught and here I ulted and I'm slowing it down so you can actually see the uh, that got a little bit uh, a little bit cornered there and the flash was bad I did I did a very good thing there actually and here I don't know why I didn't try to kill should have gone for the Janna here now as you can see here uh, they are doing this Drake and Jarvan is lowish and Janna is lowish as well I'm full HP and there is a Yasuo with a full shield no ultimate but as I can see here he has I think he has flash and ignite up because the client might bug now here here I should have you know I should have you know this guy should have helped me and I blubbered too much sorry for that this was in slow motion so I could actually focus on talking let's move faster again Graga stomping that guy got tilted by that early trade and that's what probably caused the win I passed here the vision word and I noticed it when I went and I will go back to it if I remember correctly but uh, one of the reasons we win is that uh, both my ADC and top laner were decent. Yasuo, even though he has a kill, he did a lot of mistakes. He replaced the vision ward, that's why he disappeared, disappeared you know, and finally get it. Uh, I don't like to trash talk, but uh, in this scenario, uh, the mid lane was the issue. You'll see that gets fed. I, I was the issue too, but. Uh, we're both the issue, I guess. And Gragas just keeps on giving and uh, on hitting them and getting objectives. And that's, as I said before, one major factor in the win. I can consider that he carried solo uh, because, you know, he can't really do that now. Here, I actually thought that if I go in this bush, I did, I did have no idea that he didn't uh, W. I thought at this point with this guy here he would just W over that. Now uh, I didn't know of this word and it was a mistake of face checking obviously face checking as that and here I just get ulted. Flash looks up here but I don't think it was honestly and when you face that you should actually uh, you should actually go for the stopwatch probably, especially on mid lane. But on um, jungle, I don't. I don't think it's a bad idea to go stopwatch, even though you lose the water walking and such. Now, Yasuo didn't even flinch. I mean, you knew Zed came towards this zone, and you've seen me going into the bush. Well, I'm not gonna talk about it. It was my fault as well. And here Camille tries something. I'm still dead for a long time, so I'm just gonna randomly show you the mid lane in then. Bot lane bot lane is a bit spicy. Uh, brand just goes full feed, but luckily luckily our uh, IDC is decent and their ADC is kind of okay -ish as well. Here I waited. I waited because I thought they were gonna they were going they will be diving her. Uh, I think this word didn't see me but I don't really Yeah he was here. He was actually expecting me to gank. Probably seen me through that word. And as far as I know I will ult here because we do have uh, the positioning advantage because they are you know stuck in this zone and here I even ult I even uh, do a proper WE combo as you can see and the perfect ult and there you go Jana dying too probably here or she should oh she doesn't because she narrowly escapes because I got stuck in the ultimate and let's move faster here I pinged my team like a desperate man because I knew that was coming from somewhere but I didn't know where. We had word here and brand just face check this. So the only where the only place see this word the only place where he could have been was this. Because if he didn't 
uh, Rome, he would have been base obviously, but we played safe, we were it here, we had worked here, and Brand just face checked this zone. Obviously, he wouldn't come from this way, because, come on, who follows like that as well with this game? And he chose this way, he, they had vision, we had no word. But I decided to just word here, maybe he's in this bush, I said, maybe. I had no recollection of, or no uh, prediction that he would take this path. He had uh, the idea that probably that this is vision word and we would see him. He would have got, he could get a kill here, okay, on brand. That would have been easy. But he followed this path. And I'm gonna show you. Uh, Pulu. Okay, so nothing, I had no vision. I, I just said, fuck it, he's there. I'll be careful. Uh, because if Brand doesn't get jumped on, then I get jumped on. And also, I need to stay here because I need to help Brand. As you can see, I have flash up. I need to help him if he gets jumped on. Maybe we can get the kill on Zed, which would be pretty nice because he's a bit ahead in farm. We need to stop that. So I just go there, let's see, I, I put the word, I've seen him because of the minions, and then I just go full hammer him, here you don't know, but I actually have a stopwatch. And this actually outplayed him pretty hard here, because he used everything he didn't expect, the stopwatch. I went full for Zonia because of the mistake I did there when I died. And that was it. We gave Yasuo some advantage, probably he took tower mid lane tower when we kept on farming and we kept on farming and we did for hours and hours we kept on farming and also all the crabs that we can take and Vayne is pretty friend here as well we find a free kill here in the coming zone she's very tilted at this point which I encourage you to camp tilt just because they leave I had the 0-2 player that we left today and yeah you you can think of how that game went, went. That was in my team, obviously. And he had the 0 10 game before that, so that makes sense, right? Well, you should show another team because of your past team, but still. As I said before, Zed will win most of the time against that Yasuo, and what's happening here, I don't remember, but I'm gonna double click on me, yes, it's, this skin is beautiful, I know, thank you. Uh, I encourage you to buy it because it's so pretty. Let me move on here. Uh, why did I take this? Well, the answer is, let me show you. Uh, the answer is that Jarvan wasn't really close and he was a bit afraid to actually, to actually join that. And I don't know why. Ah, probably because Zed has no ult and it's recalling and Gragas is here and Gragas is super strong. Now, we had the vision world. He didn't have vision for this. And as I seen him here, I've decided, okay, he has no time, I'll just go for it. That's how you should decide for objective. Always do it if you have some item, if it's clear. This was a clear one. Zed could have joined and we... It's... it's uh, not really sure if we would have won, because Yasuo was a long way from home, but, and Misfortune had no abilities, as you can see here, and no flash and such, but he has no ult, and that would have been probably dead if he goes to W and jumped on someone, because Gragas is pretty fabulous right now with a lot of damage, as you can see, and I don't know what trade, oh, I remember this one, this is another mistake, this is obviously me not playing Talia that much again. Uh, third mistake. Didn't cost the ult in this direction. Second mistake. Got stunned into my own wall. Or, yeah, should have not get stunned here at all cost. Uh, and then you guess it. You, I've also casted Zonia here for no reason. This was pointless, okay? I got outplayed because. I was stupid as well. I was I killed myself practically at that point. And this was a very bad here at this point, this was a very bad idea. Uh, I probably could have you know get the kill, but uh, not if I play like that. And also I like this Dark Harvest Misfortune deals a lot of damage. And that's one of the major reasons we win here, Dragas dies again. 
or yeah, I think he does. But again, he, yeah, so follows, and if he doesn't cast all here, here he should have cast all. Okay, uh, they would have killed Camille at this point. But then, if he didn't press R when it was obvious, you need to press R, and the fight just prolonged, and even though he got the kill. They had absolutely no chance to escape this game. And that's why I'm saying I didn't like how he played because of the out farm that he got early on and such. But still, I still played bad in some occasions. I don't. We do mistakes, okay? Everyone does do mistakes. Everyone does mistakes. Uh, here, Jarvan is far away, but I'm pretty scared because I'm thinking, okay, he's right near the wall. Even though he's low HP, uh, I kind of push it out in this one, I was... Yeah, and then this Camille appeared, I smited it, Gragas got it, that was fine, that was extremely fine. But then again, Brand died one more time, which was not fine. And Zed still has all as you can see, which is again not fine. And they go back, and then trying to remember what happened. Oh! <laughs> Let me show you this in slow motion. <laughs> so... So, after Brand dies, they go here, and this is a funny one. I did not understand this at all. At this point, he's just practically trolling his own team. Uh, yeah, but yeah, Zed is still playing, Vayne is still playing, Jarvan is still trying, Jana is still trying. We do have a Brand that usually gets caught, but it's fine, I guess, it's fine. Better have the support than the top laner, I guess. Uh, moving on, moving on here. Uh, I should have ulted right when I've seen this happen. I knew they were going to fight. I knew she might one shot her, but I also knew there was a possibility that she wouldn't one shot them. As you can see, she flashed, and also you'll see uh, I kind of missed everything, and that was very badly shown. I don't know why I'm still pressing tab, by the way. And here also I get randomly caught, which should not happen. And maybe I had a chance without that ignite. He still has ult. Uh, again, two mistakes in a row. Ulting badly here, missing spells. Randomly walking when I don't see their Z. Although with this minion, with these minions here, you'd expect him to farm. Moving on. Uh, here Gragas kind of wins. <laughs> okay, let's do this uh, again. Uh, he should have been dead here, although although Zed missed, and they also got probably a tower if I recall. But no, no, he didn't. He just died there again, and. One, another reason that we won is that these guys full tank and they are all AD. Okay, even though they have a vein which can pierce armor and stuff and such, this guy just slams here. He doesn't have any issues and he overstayed here a lot. But he's still not dead as you can see. And okay, alt. No, okay. Not nearly the current because she's just gonna she's just gonna do this. Okay. Moving back to our there is the alt coming that I was talking about. Okay. Here our misfortune got caught. I kinda fished for Jarvan here. At this point I should have been one shotted but he didn't go for okay that was funny. He didn't go for the Draktar full lady Jarvan route. Although he should have probably. Here I healed a lot in a short period of time. This is actually pretty amazing about this champion. Look at this. You see my HP. Just just watch. Back to full HP. Camille didn't have any idea that I was full HP at this point. Okay, she didn't have any single clue. Even though I died, 
that was pretty baitable there. And moving on, some more fighting around mid lane, and then they'll go for the crab as they should. Gragas gets caught and has no way of escaping this. Yeah, so walks around, doesn't matter right now. And where is he? Okay, let me just watch the map a little. Okay, Misfortune gets caught here. And she flashes perfectly as you can see. Although, Zed follows. And she had a lot of time to get the kill. Then though, mispositioned and it was kinda worth. Okay, moving on. Here I do another very bad W that might let me at least a very good poke, if not a kill, but probably not a kill. I did a nice, a really nice dodge towards that uh, QE, but then again I got one shot in, and you can see five deaths already. Most of them, at least four, were pointless and useless, and that's the good part about watching this video. That's the good part. Watching the mistakes I do, so we learn how to play. Now here, I expect way more from a Yasuo. I don't know. I've seen Yasuo players, good ones. They usually clear up in unconvenient circumstances. And again, it's okay. We finally managed to win somehow. Oh, that was a spoiler. Well, it doesn't matter. Whew, my neck. Moving further. We get here a cloud break by the properties of my team. And let's see what happens next. I usually at this point start to tell them we should clear Baron, we should do that and that. And okay. And here we do probably, as you can see here, one of the last team fights. Let's normalize it. Okay. Now I at this point, I see Camille top, okay? I try to uh, ping that I'm going to world and then that I'm... I, I didn't ping here, but I'm pinging that I'm going to actually engage. And watch this. I've passed a word. That was fine. As you can see, they are here. Camille has teleport up. And watch this. Okay. I'm alting. Okay. I did the alt. Look, look how it caught everyone. As you can see here, I have Zonia up, so it's safe for me to do this. I have flash up, I have smite up. Smite is not important for the example, but still, watch this. Janna, without flash, mispositions already. She should have been here with the team. Vayne has flash and will use it badly, and they have. German has flash and Zed doesn't. They all have their cooldowns, okay? It's a full cooldown fight. In our team, besides some flashes, we have all ultimates all up, besides mine, obviously. Okay, let's see what let's see what happens. Let's analyze this a little. I get pushed by Vayne, but I also try and understand that Vayne will try to Q away and Jarvan to dash on me. So probably the best idea would be to go for this zone somewhere. Because, because it will hit probably something if German engages or if Vayne mispositions with the Q into the Now she will go upwards probably. He will go towards me probably. And this is what happens. I did, I didn't do this to predict the German. I did it mostly to try to get the Vayne. And Yasuo instantly ulted. I didn't get the Vayne. They didn't know I didn't get the Vayne, but. Here at this point I did not understand this flash. And this is what makes Talia beautiful. Oh and Jana is here, stunned by Brand, I'm going to face her. Now German is dead at this point, no chance for him. Camille should have teleported a long time ago. And the teleport starts only now. Zed engages on misfortune, which doesn't have heal and anything, but with he's in the middle of the run, so. And Vayne just randomly dies because of the choice there. And this choice actually costed them an entire game right here. And this is usually the 
mistake that you can see everywhere. You can see a mistake like this in every ranked game, even in higher elos, even in maybe LCS and such, not this red flash right here. It, I wouldn't expect either to get caught here. But the pathing was bad because she could have hit everyone from the other side of the wall there. And she's dead. Uh, I followed here Janna, should have followed Zed. And Zed dies as well. And if you want, I can show you again. I, you probably want to see this team fight again in normal speed. Let me back this off. Okay, one more time. So, back up. I cleared this, I checked for Camille, but I, I knew she was there, but I had to worry because she might, you know, she might come this way and we need to see her if she's around for a dive. And I activated, I popped my uh, Oracle Lens, if that's how you call it, and even though I've seen these words, uh, let me just, I want to see red thing. Even though they seen me, they knew I was here. And they knew I was going to ult. They didn't expect any of the follow-up from the team to be this. Uh, I said I put it full speed. They didn't expect. Okay. And this is way too fast to be real. The one speed. Yes, this. Speed. Okay, here I should have focused mostly that, but it's fine. And Camille was way too late to matter, and it was over. Okay, so you get the point. And from this point, I'm just ro rolling through their uh, objectives. So we take this, we take inhibitor. I spamping Baron. I spamping that they should not stop for a red buff because it could be costly in time. You don't predict easily when Baron is done, so you have to you know rush it as fast as you can. But as you can see, drama wasn't that far, but. Some more seconds and we might have had this might battle. At this point, however, I am pretty far ahead, as you can see by CS, is not that much, but by level sure. And I also get some more stuff around the map, and we can continue towards the end of the game slowly. Here, uh, Camille and uh, Camille and Zed went for the. Uh, Brand they killed him, but yes, so at this point, even though he didn't farm so well in the past, right now he went full ham on them. And I thought Jarvan was in this bush, I didn't see the plant, even though he could have QE. Uh, this guy got the Janna, vain mispositions again. She does not expect us to actually reach her. I missed the combo, but I deal way too much damage to that uh, to that Jarvan in the E. And as you can see, you can probably predict how this is going to go for them. Here, I was so damn close with the skills. And this guy, I don't know how this guy catches. <laughs> okay. And as you can see here, we end the game, and they have no way for us. They have no way to stop it. I want to go back a little to the team fight again, because I think it's the most important part of the game. It's the decisive part. Not here, here, and again. I want to put it again for the half speed. Uh, okay, so you walk towards the old zone. You see the team, you try to cast an ult so you can actually help your Gragas engage. You actually help him get the E on them. Now, Janna got panicked here. She had no need to go towards me. No need. Why? How could she escape at this point? Now, this is a thing that you will see in most Elos. If it happens, if it's happening in Diamond, in High Diamond, Diamond 3 or Diamond 2 or whatever Elo. I can be, uh, then it will probably happen in lower elos, so for any of you uh, that try to climb with this champion, especially in jungle, there you go, There, this is one of the fine moments in which you can see the panic and the mispositioning and such. This W was also a key factor in actually winning this, this, this uh, W denied completely the Jarvan, even though he's tankish, he got all ulted, and Janna is mispositioned, she was 
called by brand. This guy that tries to kill misfortune. This stopwatch ruined him completely. That was a very smart play by misfortune by buying actually the stopwatch. And then he tries to do something, but it's over. So yeah, guys, this is about it for this episode. You understood some basic principles. You understood how I try, and I understood as well how I try to go, how I try to route, how I start at red and then go for this uh, scuttle and try to fight, or how I clear it because the matchup does not allow for me to clear to go for the scuttle, such as I don't know, Xin, Odir, if he reaches me, Kindred again. I ban Kindred every game right now. He's she's way too strong. He, he, whatever, and then. And then uh, the mistake that I the mistake that I did going too close to an assassin, trying to fight one versus one of vain when I don't have the upper hand, and when I did the bad alt, that didn't help me. That was against me, and it was stupid. Again, getting caught randomly by who knows, dying to Camille randomly. Things like that can be changed and can be stopped. I can stop doing them. I will stop doing them. And that can motivate you as well to stop getting randomly caught, to try to play more smart, to think where the enemy is, where, to cast your ult and things like that. That Those ults are the things that are separating the good players from the great players, so try to think them out. And I really like jungle right now more than mid lane for this thing because it allows me to power farm and allows me to actually gank bot lane without having the need to push mid after, you know, or having to face an assassin in or annoying matchup that I cannot do that much anymore because the QAOE, you know, is not there, I can't poke them through the minions anymore as it was before, I have to have a clear way, when most assassins have a dash so you won't get them. But yeah, oh, and you didn't see my face for the past minutes also, but still, but still. I hope you understood something from this and I hope you really liked it uh, and it helped me and I hope it helps you as well. So I'm Drew Matt and for today this was the self coach Drew Matt tutorial or something, I don't know how to name it, <laughs> I will see. So yeah, thanks for much for watching guys and have a nice day or night and let's climb together with this video series, okay? Goodbye guys.